on this side. There we go. Four years ago, today, uh, my father died. It was September 4th of 2012. The weather I remember to be just like it is right now. I think with the beginning of most things, we think about it as a celebration. Uh, of everything you've accomplished and anniversaries, usually a happy thing and with, because I said I would, it's growth. An impact, uh, I wish that our anniversary could be that for me, uh, but it is not. You know, my dad used to tell a story about me all the time. Uh, like whenever I have like a new girlfriend or something to maybe embarrass me or something. I don't, I don't really know, but it went something like this. He, it was his favorite story about me. He was, okay, I was like six years old or five or something. My dad used to smoke cigarettes and just drink coffee in the morning, you know, to wake up. So he was kind of groggy, kind of angry dad in the morning. And so he's sitting at our kitchen table and I'm running around a hundred miles an hour or whatever. Um, and he's, he kind of an upset tone. He says, Alex, get over here. And, uh, and I'm like, Oh, what did I do? So I come over to him and he says, Alex, you need to clean your room. Your room is too messy. You need to take responsibility for it. But listen, he says to me, I'll give you 50 cents if you clean your room. So I pause for a second, I, I look, in, look in his eyes, I think, and then I run upstairs. And I go upstairs all the way to my room, and my room is right above the kitchen, so you can hear me run around, moving things around, but I then just come downstairs. Clearly not enough time for me to actually clean my room, and I go to him at the kitchen table, I throw 50 cents on the counter, and I say, you do it. He would say that story over and over and over again. I'm, I'm not sure why I think he, maybe it's because he that I was cute or clever, but it's something I remember about him. You know, I was I accidentally became the founder of Because I Said I Would <clears throat> four years ago. I uh, have tried to get real good with my promises. You know, people, when they write things like, I will not kill myself or I will not cut myself, for all these great things to self control or helping other people, you want to be an example. Uh, I don't believe that just because I came up with this thought for my father's eulogy that that should be enough and try to live in, in that example of being good with your word, but it's really hard. And you get on this path where you get better and better with your commitments as I have and, uh,
you uh, start to get angry at other people that they don't keep their promises and you get upset all the time and you just think to yourself, well, I, I do what I say I'm going to do. You know, I'm not perfect, certainly, and I've broken promises, but I got a good batting average and I do what I say what I'm going to do. Why can't other people do that? And it just gets you so upset. Because the thing is, is like, you know, as the founder, I meet people after these events or whatever, and they shake your hand and they say the message is moving and they make these all promises to do promises to you constantly one after the other after the other and they're not kept certainly many but most people just say things and I'm sick and tired of it I I can't take it and you know it's one thing to you know break a promise that doesn't matter but when it's to like a charitable cause and I'm not saying even my own I'm saying to to all these great nonprofits and efforts when it's a promise to take care of your health or your kids. I'm just tired of it. But you can just spend your whole life pointing the finger at somebody else. And all that will do is just build anger inside of you, probably like it did in my dad. And that will just waste your life. So I'm going to try not to do that. And... That's because my father used to say to me, Alex, the only person in this world you can control is yourself. But I'm having a hard time with that. Uh, I miss him a lot. I just wonder what he would say. You know, people say, oh, he'd be so proud of you and everything that you accomplished. But these people don't know my father. Uh, I'm not saying that he wouldn't be proud, but I just don't know what he would say. And neither do they. Uh, and neither will I. I'll never, I just, I'll never know. So he's gone. That's all. That's okay because we're all gonna go. I will die one day, and I will not be on my deathbed as my father was, and have the type of regrets uh, caused by just dwelling on other people's action. I have to take control of what I can do and how I can help other people. And what I may find is purpose in my life. And um, when I die, I hope it will be in peace with those thoughts. Today is September 4th, 2016. And it is the four-year anniversary of the passing of my dad. I want to make a few promises in uh, honor of him and in honor of our supporters who have helped me through a challenging time in my life, all the people around the world who have kept their commitments in honor of uh, my family that my father left behind. It's okay, baby. You can go. Uh, the first one is that I will give my old Buick to charity. It's a piece of junk, but I need to get rid of it and it might as well go to something decent. Uh, second one is more important. I will start an account for my niece to help pay for athletic leadership and character education opportunities uh, for her as she grows up. She just turned one, so my dad would have liked that. Um, I will give uh, quit smoking gum to strangers. Uh, my dad tried, he eventually did quit uh, three years before he was diagnosed, but it was too late, so. 
and I will volunteer for people in hospice care because you shouldn't have to die alone. If you are a supporter of Because I Said I Would and the importance of a promise, I ask you to perhaps make a promise, four promises, uh, in honor of this four-year anniversary of our cause, uh, in honor and in memory of not my father, but it's someone that you honor, maybe someone who's passed away, someone who is still alive, who made an impact on you positively because they were committed to you uh, in honor of a lesson that you learned from someone who broke a promise to you or a broken promise yourself. Four promises. But um, don't do it just because it's some social media thing or whatever. Uh, it, just do it if you mean it and if you don't just don't even waste your time it's not a big deal I often wonder if because I said I would has you know created far more broken promises than kept ones because keeping promises is easy people jump into things for the wrong reasons they don't plan they don't think about the word choice and a bunch of other things and maybe that can happen on other days uh, and pro broken promises to some degree should be forgiven, but just not in this case. Just don't do it if you're not going to do it. I don't have anything else to say. Beginning of most things. We think about it as a celebration. Uh, of everything you've accomplished in anniversaries. Usually a happy thing with, because I said I would, it's growth and impact. Uh, I wish that our anniversary could be that for me. Uh, but it is not. You know, my dad used to tell a story about me all the time. Uh, here, one over. On this side. There we go. It was September 4th of 2012. The weather I remember to be just like it is right now. I think with the Four years ago today, uh, my father died.